Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and uh, we're going to take a look in on the DIY stack bin and see how it's doing. All right, last time um, we did quite a bit of feeding and kind of got this bin up and motivated again, so I'm going to dig around in the whole thing and see what it's doing. Um, it's been really cold here. I cannot believe this apple. It's, it's literally going on like two months here. I can't believe this thing is still with us. But it's been pretty cool here in Illinois. I've had to put the, uh, the heater on in the, the greenhouse and everything. Um, had a couple of frosts. So the basement is not as nice and toasty warm as it had been for about a month. So if you remember last time we put the um, excess worms from the far bottom in the top, you know, so they would have an opportunity to go where they wanted to since the holes in the middle are so small. And things are looking pretty normal. Not seeing anything but that apple in here so far. Moisture is holding pretty good in here. I do have a, a little bit of a lid that I've been keeping on it. Nope, okay, I found some worms. But I don't really see the food that they're interested in here. So whatever it is must be for the most part gone. Yeah, it's a little worm ball, a little tiny worm ball. Okay, let me go ahead and take this layer off and we will look at the one underneath. Alright, second layer. Let's have a look and see what these guys are doing. Always doing really good in here. Castings look good. Moisture looks great. Yeah, I'm also not seeing food. Just seeing some very nice castings. Okay. Let me take this one off and we will move down to the lowest level. Okay. Now, if you remember, we took the towel off the top and put it on the bottom. Figured it would have much more action. The worms would be much happier with this if it was on the bottom and it stayed nice and wet. And it is super wet down here. So let's have a look at the, the inhabitants here. Still a lot of worms down here. So they must have decided to, at least the smaller worms decided to make the trip down to the lowest level. Um, some of them appear to be getting in the middle of the, the towel here, you know, just kind of on the outskirts, not really eating through it at this point. Let me kind of unfold it over here and see what else we've got. Just normal old... Uh, worm stuff going on here. Gonna take some of the castings and move them on top. Maybe that'll help the biology uh, get this stuff moving. But uh, there's no food. I haven't found any food anywhere. So I'm going to put the middle bin back in and then we can get things together. Sorry for the worm quake there. Not sure if I showed you this last time or not, but I'm going to move everything away so you can see how small the holes are on the bottom. So 
there is a hole right there where my finger is. And I think that's sometimes why the worms don't, you know, once they go down and they get to be a bigger size, then they can't make it back up again. So I have been kind of moving them upwards to at least this level or the top. Okay, well then let's put this thing back together. And then I'm going to dig a little bit of a trench here, and then we're going to give them a good feeding. Okay. Now, right now, they have more than enough um, bedding, so I don't need to give them any more of that. Take the sticker off while I'm seeing it. Then we're going to give them some rice and some banana. And uh, this has started to ferment a little bit. Looks like there's some tea bags in there too. So we're going to cover that up. Now all that dripping should go down to the middle layer and the bottom layer. And so the worms, no matter what layer they're on, will continue to get something to eat. It'll just be drippings and bacteria. That'll be most of their food. All right, well, that was just a quick update on the DIY stacked bin. If you guys like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.